This is Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the floor of the CME here in Chicago with your livestock roundup. And it has been kind of a, a choppy session here over the past couple of days, trading both sides of unchanged and really going nowhere fast. And that seems to be the story over the better part of the last two months. Cash continues to grind higher, but the futures market is just kind of treading water sideways. Cash right now, not a whole lot of development yet this week. Bids and offers 122, 127. So we're looking for possibly steady to slightly firmer cash this week. But from the technicals perspective, we're in a range. 127.42 to 127.90 is the top end for that February contract. We think there's value in selling up here from the speculative uh, standpoint as well as from the hedging standpoint. And on the bottom side, you're looking at 124. Break and close below there, I think really opens the door for some accelerated selling pressure closer to, towards uh, 119 to 119.50. So the cash market is going to be the uh, uh, the thing to keep a very close eye on here over the coming weeks. If we start to see that uh, become more steady to softer, I think that uh, encourages some long liquidation from the funds who are currently net long probably about 85,000 contracts. Now, feeder cattle, we were one tick away from uh, testing those November 12th highs, and we're looking at a potential triple top. If we start to see uh, this failure confirmed into the weekend, we wouldn't be surprised to see a retest of the bottom end of the range. 144.05 is what we're looking at for that March contract. And wrapping things up with the lean hog market, we retested 70 yesterday. Keep Fibonacci retracement as well as the 50-day moving average, but weren't able to maintain price action above that uh, little pocket up there. Came off that. We're seeing uh, some sellers step in pretty heavily today, taking out the lows of earlier in the week. 65.40 is the November and December lows. If we take that out, wouldn't be surprised to see a retest of contract lows. So that's something we're looking at. That's what you should be looking at too. This has been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME.